Hello everyone, you're here to learn how to write meta description using BERT. And uh, my name is Andrea Volpini, I am CEO and co-founder of WordLift. And uh, we will uh, go step by step and see how to automate the process of generation of meta description. So we will start by crawling the website and we can either use VooRank or Screaming Frog. In this tutorial we will use Screaming Frog and then we will analyze the data that comes out of um, the crawl and uh, we will select the URLs that uh, don't have a meta description and that uh, deserve one and then we will use uh, automatic summarization um, to generate um, potential candidates for the meta description of these web pages. We will do these on Google Collaborator using Python and then we will extract and produce a, a file in a CSV format with all the list of the URLs and the meta description that uh, BERT has generated. And uh, we can um, get um, started by looking at um, our blog, which, which we will use as, a, as an example for uh, um, guiding us throughout the process. So um, for the sake of this, uh, uh, of this um, presentation, we will use the, the, um, the WorldLift blog in Italian. And so we will start by looking at uh, the sitemap over here, getting the sitemap and, and feeding this into, into Screaming Frog. Um, before starting the crawl, um, we want to make sure that uh, um, you have configured access to the Google Search Console um, for the site that you're going to crawl. This is going to be useful because it will allow us to get uh, information such as the position of the URL on, on Google Search that uh, we can use um, as a discriminator to choose what pages we want to add the meta description to. So um, we can um, start by, by crawling the site from the sitemap and um, we'll just wait until the entire process is, is completed. We are back. Uh, we have uh, completed the crawling of the website and uh, we have all the URLs now being crawled and we can also have a look at uh, the information that it's coming from the, from the Google Search Console and uh, we're going to use this, this information to filter the URLs that uh, deserve to get uh, um, a meta description. And we will also use another column which, which indicates um, that, uh, that the meta description is, is missing. And, um, and that's, that's the column that, uh, that we're going to look at. So we're going to export these. Um, just old HTML and we're going to export this in, in a CSV format. And then this file here that, that we're going to export, uh, we're going to, to upload it to, to, to Google Drive. Okay. So we're going to export it from here and, uh, and, uh, and we're going to, to import it into, into Google Drive. I've done this already so I can show you already the file that, uh, that I have imported on, on Google Drive. So. That's the file that, uh, that we have created um, for um, using Screaming Frog and, uh, and, uh, and we, we have imported now on, the, on the Google Drive and you can see that we have you know, the position over here and then the other field that uh, we are going to use, it's called uh, meta description one length and then of course we are going to use the first field, the first column that indicates uh, the the, the address of the page that uh, that we need to analyze and, and summarize. So um, once we do this, we want to publish um, these uh, uh, to the web so that uh, we can access uh, the CSV from uh, from Google Collab. We choose um, to publish the the document, um, this spreadsheet as a CSV file. And, um, and, and then we want to make sure that we copy this, this URL because this is where we're going to start. So we are publishing the, the CSV that uh, was exported from Screaming Frog into Google Drive and then from Google Drive we're publishing these um, as, a, as a CSV uh, on the web so that uh, we can access, access this using this, this URL. So we're going to copy this and then we're going to move into the Google Collab 
you have the URL of these, and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna reset now the the runtime, and, uh, and 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 start fresh. Using as an audible settings, we're using a Python tree, and and we're also adding a, a GPU as as hardware accelerator. So we, we we choose these from here. And then uh, um, a new machine will be created for us. Remember that you have to copy this notebook into your drive in order to be able to execute it. So you, you, you will save a copy of, of, of this notebook in your drive and then, uh, and then you will configure the runtime in order to um, add uh, the GPU as, as other accelerators. And then we're just going to get started by, by loading the libraries that uh, we're going to use for, uh, for, um, for the generation of the meta description. And, and as you can see, as soon as we start, uh, um, Google starts loading, the Google Collab starts loading all the libraries that, uh, that we need. Mm -hmm. Loaded everything that we need into our virtual machine and we can proceed to the next cell. And, um, and here you can see in the flow that uh, I have created a table of content so you can uh, Kind of quickly see the steps of the process and and here you have the option of using uh, the crawl data from from Vrank or the crawl data from screaming frog so in this tutorial we are going to use screaming frog so I'm gonna just collapse everything that is is related to to Vrank and I'm just gonna expand uh, everything that is related to screaming frog and uh, and we're going to copy the string that uh, that um, we had uh, um, we have copied from from the Google Drive, uh, and and we're gonna put it here. Okay, so I've done these already, and then we're gonna we're gonna run the cell. And when when we do this, we we basically download the CSV uh, of the crawl into the virtual machine, and then we're gonna copy this because this is the actual file that that has been saved locally. And, and we're going to use this, this, uh, this string in order to, to, to create uh, uh, our data set. Okay? So we're going to create a data set using a um, very famous uh, library for Python for handling data, which is called Pandas. And, uh, and, and, and this command is as simple as you know, reading the CSV, getting the data set, and, and let, letting you know, see uh, the, first, uh, the first rows of, of these, uh, of these data sets. So we can see that we have you know, the same information that we had uh, all the way. So the address of the page, um, the status code, because of course we're going to also filter out everything that it's uh, not responding properly. Uh, and then of course we're going to use the meta description one pixel width as a discriminator. So if it's zero, we need a meta description. And if it's above zero, we don't need it because it means that we have something already and we're not going to patch it. And then we're also going to leverage on the information from the Google Search Console related to the position because we don't want to crawl uh, and, and, and generate meta description for anything that is not ranking. Um, of course, um, you can infuse your, uh, your SEO expertise into these filters and, and you will do this, this from here. So in this, uh, in this cell over here, uh, we are going to apply the filters that uh, that um, we discuss above, and, and you know, feel free to play with these filters and add whatever condition you think are relevant for that specific site. I mean, remember that you know your SEO expertise is is crucial for for uh, um, you know running through this process. So status code two hundred, fine. Uh, meta description one pixel width, um, it's um, it's zero, um, so there is no meta description. In this case, I'm adding this string here uh, for uh, um, analyzing only the content that belongs to the to the Italian blog. Um, you know, feel free to remove this condition if you want to remove. You're just gonna do this and, and remove this string, and then you know the thing is gonna it's gonna run seamlessly. Um, and then here you have the position that uh, in 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 my case I'm setting you know uh, anything that it's contained between position three and position fifteen, and of course. You know, you can play with this uh, um, as much as you like in order to <clears throat> pick up the, the, the URLs that you want to work on. And then, then we're going to run this one. And we're going to, you know, from, from the total number of URLs that we had above, uh, which were 168, we now have, you know, 29. We're, we're now down to 29 URLs. So these are the URLs that uh, we are going to analyze and process. 
Now we, we start with the, with the actual uh, uh, automatic uh, extractive text summarization. So um, with DCL here, we're just uh, uh, running a function that uh, the, the procedure will use later on in order to extract the text from, 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 from your web pages. And that's very important part because you might need to, 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 to change this um, parameter here uh, and, 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 and this parameter here in order to um, tell to this function where um, the body of the article uh, is on your website. So we don't want to analyze the full page, which might contain uh, visual elements that we don't need, or might contain uh, navigational menus, or um, you know, list of articles that are related to the main articles. We want to make sure that we only process the body of, of the content. So, uh, in order to, to see these, we, we, you know, if we run the inspect on, on our web page, uh, we can uh, uh, quickly see that, uh, for instance, in our case, you know, this is, this is the part of the, of the, of the web page that uh, really contains, you know, the body of, 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 my, of my article. And that's, that's, that's what we're going to use. So, it's, uh, in this case, it's called the uh, DV entry. Um, Content and uh, and that's because of course we are using DV on uh, on our on our blog. But uh, whatever you have that that kind of contains only the text of your website, you wanna kind of um, get it from here, and then and then we want to update um, you know these strings here because here uh, the function will will look for uh, uh, any any div that that belongs to the to the entry content class. And uh, and so and so it it will not look at anything else, and then and then it will get it will get the text out of these out of these uh, out of these div. So now it's where where we actually uh, start playing with uh, with BERT because here we are going to run the, the function that will uh, will cycle uh, through all the, the URLs that we need to analyze, and and then for each URL um, for each uh, row we'll extract the URL over here, and then it will send. Um, the, the URL to the first function that we saw that will convert the URL into, into text and then, and then it will uh, load the model so here we're using a standard BERT uh, uh, model and then it will, it will push the results it will ask uh, the model to, to, to make the, the summarization of the page of the text that has been extracted from the page and then it's going to append it into the data frame so we're just going to run these and it's going to take some time depending on the number of URLs um, so we're just going to run it and see that it gets started the process of um, analyzing, uh, reading, and understanding the 29 URLs from our blog and, uh, and, and summarizing uh, each, each URL uh, with, uh, with a potential uh, meta description for it. Um, it's, it is definitely um, an intensive process, so you want to make sure that you, you only select you know, the, the URLs that, uh, that really deserve a, a meta description. Here, for instance, we can see that um, we, we are summarizing a URL that doesn't contain any, any, any text. So the results is, is, is zero. So we might want to also uh, filter out uh, any any URL that doesn't contain enough uh, enough text. And of course, as we saw, we can we can do this by by playing with uh, with the filters that uh, uh, creates the, the the data sets that uh, that then is used for um, iterating through through each uh, each URL. Um, so we're going to leave it as it is, and uh, and we're going to proceed. Uh, here I have added also the option of running the same uh, process with a different uh, um, version of BERT. And so this is like the BERT-based multilingual case. So if you have long text in, in non-English, uh, written in non-English, like in our case we're using the Italian, so we, we might want to you know, try to see if we get better performance. Um, we are using extractive summarization and um, we are limiting to, to one or two sentences at the most um, the, the summarization. So um, there's not a huge difference uh, unless you have very, very long and complicated text in using you know, the, the standard version of, of BERT that we had over here or the multilingual BERT. But I mean, if you have, uh, if you have content written on in English, uh, you might want to try these and, and try to see if there are some differences. Uh, 
uh, when running this process. So um, here we are instantiating a, a different model, but uh, but the process is exactly the one that uh, that we saw above. And I'm not going to run it, uh, but uh, feel free to do it. Uh, of course, this is alternative to the previous one, which means that we're still going to use the same uh, the same data set to to store the results. So so if you run these, then you know it will it will append um, the results of of, of the uh, multilingual version of BERT uh, into the data sets. Um, I have also added uh, uh, into the Nauta book uh, uh, yet another um, new model which is uh, called Albert that uh, has been also uh, released open source by Google and it's, uh, it's a light version of BERT. Um, so you can give it a try to this one as well and, uh, and, and you know as you can see the, the procedure is the same I'm just uh, you know loading Different model and, and each model has you know its own uh, its own tokenizer. So the tokenizer will will analyze the text and then will will feed the model and then and then the instruction to the model is is pretty much the same. Here we we're just saying that uh, we we don't want to consider any sentence that is less than sixty words and then that's kind of the ratio for the summarization. Um, we can play with these parameters as well, but uh, in reality, of course, we. We, we are using extractive summarization, so we are using whatever phrases you have in the text. Um, the algorithm is not generating uh, novel sentences in this case, but uh, it's selecting the sentences that are most, uh, most relevant. Um, so once again, uh, you can run these uh, is an alternative to the other two models, and then it will store the data into this into these, uh, data frame that we call DataX. So here we're just gonna do the last part, which is um, you know the saving the results um, of, of of the um, of the summarization into a new data set um, that uh, <clears throat> is um, as simple as um, two columns, so one with the URL and then the second one with the uh, with the with the summary that has been created, and then and then you can um, finally hit um, this last cell, and then and then you will get uh, you will get. Uh, um, as, as end result, uh, the the CSV that uh, that uh, contains um, the the summarization that uh, that uh, Bert has created for us. So we're opening the file. The file that contains uh, correctly the URL and 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 the summarization. I mean, you, you still want to work in these summarization because in some cases they're good. Um, see here, you know, the one for uh, Brittany Mueller from 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 the mods team, um, and but but in some cases they might be you know. Uh, too long, or, or or still require you know some some final some final touches um, from 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 yourself. That's all for today, and thanks for following this tutorial on uh, the generation of meta description using BERT. Bye bye.